Daredevil short movie view. Matt Murdock loses his eyesight at age 12 and his father, just, you know, two for two, two for two, I guess, and he develops this sonar sense in place of eyesight, and his uh, remaining senses function at superhuman levels. When he grows up, he becomes a lawyer and a masked vigilante, taking on the name of Daredevil, you know, stalking criminals at night. He meets, Matt Murdock meets Electra Nachios, who also has, has a bit of a tragic background, and the two, both kind of closed off, find a connection, but tragedy may just be around the corner yet. The villain, the Kingpin, is present, and he hires Bullseye, the manic, obsessive, sadistic psychopath played ex excellently by Colin Farrell. He's a lot of fun. He's basically like a knife thrower. He has just extreme accuracy, and anything is a weapon in his hands, including like a pencil. And they have a lot of fun with that in the movie. This came out very soon after Spider-Man, and admittedly it does try to copy a bit of what Spider-Man does, but it also does some things better. This is a much more realistic character, and the relationships between people in this I personally find much more compelling than that of Spider-Man. Matt and his fellow attorney, Franklin Foggy, have a very nice, you know, buddy relationship. The relationship between young Matt Murdock and his father are very, is, is a very credible relationship. The relationship between Electra and Matt is also quite good, and they, you know, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner, real-life couple, have a really nice, playful chemistry on screen together. And Garner brings all of her alias-esque expertise of, you know, being a badass spy, and holds her own in the action scenes. There's a lot of action in this movie, much of it really well-choreographed martial arts, but none of the fights are really quite the same thing. And we also do get some nice, you know, different matchups. You know, we see Daredevil, you know, beating up random criminals, but, you know, we also have face-offs between some of the, you know, more name characters, of the, you know, from the comics. This is a darker film than something like Spider-Man, and, you know, it generally has some really tragic events in it. The kick-ass action is, you know, helped along by equally kick-ass soundtrack, very rock-heavy, and it also, you know, fits in both, you know, to two of Evanescence, both best songs, which also kind of gives you an idea for the sort of tone, kind of emo, you know, sad. I can understand some of the complaints people have with this movie, but honestly, the director's cut fixes a lot of them. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.